hello samara beauties welcome back to my channel in case you are new here my name is amara and i'm a professional makeup artist based in lagos nigeria and in today's video we'll be creating a look inspired by the gorgeous gorgeous uche natori if you know uche you know that she creates the most flawless base routine flawless glam and her makeup looks like she's wearing a filter without actually wearing a filter so if you're interested in watching me recreate uche's signature look without actually using the high end products then keep on watching okay let's get started and i'm going in with my micellar water to clean her face just to take off any oils or build up on her face and then i'll go in with my moisturizer to moisturize her face properly by the way all the products that i'm going to be using in this video will appear on the screen or i will also leave them in the description box and then i'll go in with my primer from younger beauty by the way i need to mention that i will be using my own technique and i'm going to also show you guys that as long as you have have your technique that works for you laid down you can achieve any look that you want to create so moving on i'm just making sure that i blend this into her skin i'm also applying the primer on her t-zone area especially because she's an oily girl her skin is quite oily and then after that i'll go in with her foundation and i'm using the fenty beauty pro filter foundation I can't remember the shade exactly but I think I'm using the pro filter in 420 but I will confirm and put it in the description box anyway I am applying the foundation with my flat foundation brush and I'm working in sessions and making sure that I work this foundation into her skin seamlessly I usually start applying the foundation around the jawline and then work my way towards the rest of her face and then I'll go in with a beauty sponge to smoothen out any streaks the brush might have left on her skin but I need to mention that the white glam brush that I use in this video does an excellent job with foundation application also the beauty sponge is from talk glam and I think they have the softest you know beauty sponges that I've ever tried in Nigeria especially from a Nigerian brand to bring back light to the center of our face I'm going to use the younger beauty concealer in number three and I'm just placing the product everywhere that I want to highlight using a flat fluffy brush as you can see this brush deposits the right amount of products without leaving any streaks on the skin and if you're confused as to where to highlight it's the forehead bridge of the nose cubits bow chin and the immediate on the eye area so i'm going to let the concealer sit for a minute or two but before i do that i'm going to go back in with a lighter shade of the same concealer you guys know that uche is a uk girly and the girlies from that part of the world love to keep their under eyes super bright so i'm going to go back in with a lighter shade of um, the concealer and just place it everywhere that i've highlighted so to bring back dimension to her face, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in Mahogany to contour her cheekbone and to chisel out her jawline. Uche likes to define her jawline and I'm basically doing the same thing on my beautiful client going. So with every step of my base routine, I like to go in with my beauty sponge to kind of marry all the products together. I'm going to start blending out the concealer and Uche likes to blend her concealer towards her temple to give her more of a facelift and as you can see I'm doing just that and Oni's face is already looking snatched okay um i don't know if you can tell but i'm pinching my beauty sponge a bit more to give me a precise blending i want to keep the concealer exactly where i placed it and pinching my sponge helps me achieve that i'm also switching sides on the beauty sponge to the part where i used to blend out the foundation just to make sure that the highlight shade transitions seamlessly into the contour shade if that makes sense i hope it does and then i go ahead and blend out you know the chin the cubits bow and the sides of the nose as well including the bridge of the nose and i'm being super gentle and you know being super light-handed so i you know don't mess up everything or anything for nose contour i'm going to stick to my technique and i've missed equal parts of her contour and foundation shade and then with a small fluffy brush i'm swiping the product into her brows and the base of her nose and then down the length of her nose by the way i'm being super light-handed with this process i tried to go in to blend this out with my real technique buffing brush dupe but it wasn't softening the nose contour the way i wanted it so i went back in with my beauty sponge of course to kind of you know blend everything and soften the nose contour so it would look more natural 
to add a flush of color to her face, I'm using the Juvia's Place Soil Lipstick as a blush. I mean, this is my usual blush. And I'm just using a fluffy brush to apply this to the highest point of her cheeks and then dragging this towards her temple. And then I'll go back in with my beauty sponge to soften the blush so it looks more natural. Then I'll go in to blend out any creases under the eyes before I go in with my setting powder from Laura Mercier. It's the translucent one and I'm just going to go ahead and set the under eye first before I peek. This is very important because I don't want any creases or you know any splotches under her immediate under eye area <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm just repeating the same step on the other eyes you know set and then go in with um, more powder to kind of peek and then after that i'll go ahead and set the rest of the highlighted areas on her face to set the contoured areas on her face i'm using the mineralized skin finish in deep darkest and i'm just using like a tapered brush to you know set the highlighted sorry set the contoured areas on her face i'm also going ahead to kind of reverse contour with the setting powder that i used earlier and then to set the rest of her face i'm using a mac studio fix finish i will cross check um, and put the exact shade in the description box but yeah I'm just using it to set the rest of her face and everywhere else that I did not set especially around her nose as well because I didn't set her nose contour with any um, darker shades because like I said I want to keep that area as natural as possible let's get into this eye makeup this is the form part for me but first i'm going to prime her eyelid with the milani concealer in 150 and i'm using my buffing brush to do this uche loves to wear you know soft foxy eye makeup i'm going to start by picking a dark brown eyeshadow on a small blending brush and packing it on onion's outer corner and then blowing that color out towards her temple i'm being intentional with the way i'm laying down and applying the eyeshadow because I want to keep it as low as possible towards her lash line to create that blown out eyeliner effect. I'm then going to pick up a softer brown shadow on a slightly bigger blending brush to you know soften any harsh lines and just transition the two shades into each other. I'm also blending the second brown shade into her crease to kind of softly define her crease so i'm just going to repeat the same steps on the other eyes and i'm also kind of blending the eyeshadow into her brows and um, the beginning of her brows to give a cohesive look and then to set her eyelid i'm mixing the white and peach shades in the abh x elisa david's palette to give more depth to this eye look, I'm lining her lash line with a Younger Beauty Gelato Gel Liner and I'm smoking it out with a small precise blending brush. I'm just going to keep going back and forth until I am satisfied with the blend. I'm applying the same eyeliner in her waterline with a soft liner brush and I usually ask my clients to look up to the ceiling without raising their heads. This prevents the brush from poking their eyes or even any sort of irritation that might cause their eyes to tear up and trust me, this technique works every time. As soon as I'm done with the eyeliner, I'll then smoke it out with the same shades of eyeshadow that I used earlier. That way it's easier to blend out the liner before it sets. To finish off this eye look, I'm going to apply this beautiful champagne um, shimmer on the eyelid and I'm being super light on it because I don't want it to be overpowering. My clients wanted it to look as subtle as possible for her bridesmaid duties and this kind of ties the entire eye look together like i absolutely love how it came out and i'm using this very flat fluffy brush to apply this that way it doesn't let me it doesn't let me pack on a lot of shimmer on the brush 
moving on to kind of open up her eyes i'm just using the white shade from the abh palette that i used earlier and we are done with the eye look so i'm just going to go back into the face now to kind of dust off any excess powder and i'm just using a small fluffy brush and i'm just using her sheets of powder to kind of dust off everything to set her blush i'm going to go into my juvia's place seraphina blush and i absolutely love this blush it has this very subtle glow to it that kind of makes the the, um, cheeks dewy and just it just sits beautifully on the skin and to highlight the rest of or rather the highest point of her face i'm using my og milani master chrome highlighter and i'm strategically placing this on her forehead the bridge of her nose the tip of her nose her cupid's bow her chin and everywhere that i want when the light hits it kind of glows and i'm using a small fluffy brush to apply this and i'm also using a very small um, precise blending brush to apply this on the bridge of her nose and also using my fingers in between to you know soften out the highlight just to make sure that it doesn't look harsh moving on for brows i'm going to use my beauty line by dd brow gas and pencil by the way uchi does this towards the beginning of her routine but i prefer to do this towards the end because it saves me more time but i'm just filling in her brows with this precise brow pencil from beauty line by dd and i'm being super light-handed you know making hair like strokes to kind of mimic her natural um brow hairs and i'm just going back and forth and you know brushing the brows to see if i need to fill in more sparse areas i just go ahead and do this on the other brow and you guys i'm being super light-handed i wish the camera can pick up how super light-handed i am and i'm also using my pinky to kind of rest on her face it will also help you control your strokes do you get to set her brow hairs in place i'm using the got to be brow tamer the one that that looks like a mascara with the mascara wand so yeah i absolutely love that product like it lasts all day and it kind of gives me this feathered look every time i use it on my clients and on myself as well so to define the brow bone and clean up the brows i'm going to go in with the younger beauty smooth matte con smooth match concealer in number three the one i used earlier and i'm going in with a flat brush i believe this one is from p louise it's a collaboration between p louise and me metal i absolutely love this brush it just gives me that perfect you know curve and definition every time anyway i go back in with my buffing brush to make sure that i blend out any harsh lines and to also kind of set the concealer in place i do this on the other eye as well you know blend 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 make sure that everything is clean and properly blended out and then when i'm done with this i'll go back in with my bigger blending brush that i used earlier to kind of you know make sure that the eyeshadow is properly blended out basically by the way if you see other people walking around in the background i filmed this video at the bridal suite at oriental hotel so um i am sorry um i did not have control over that moving on i'm just lining her lips with a random brown lipstick i'm not sure which one i think the name cleaned off so i really don't know which one but any brown eyeliner is sorry why do i keep saying eyeliner any brown lip liner will do so for the center of her lips i'm going in with the new charm i absolutely love this um, lipstick from makeup revolution so i just put it on the um, inner corner of her lips or the center of her lips and i'm just using a very small um, blending brush to kind of blend this into the um, brown lip liner that i used to define her lip earlier i'm not really trying to create an umbra lips i'm just trying to create a very soft subtle seductive pink lips okay anyway um i went over it with some gloss and yeah i absolutely love how it turned out and my clients was gushing over this makeup especially over the lips i mean at this point because she was looking down at her phone and looking at what i was doing So we decided to kind of um, add a little bit of um, false lashes to the 
end or rather to the outer corner of her lashes just to give it a fuller look and i'm glad that we did anyway guys thank you so so much for watching this video i hope you learned something from this video if you have any questions please drop them in the comment section and please do not forget to like this video if you found it helpful and share it to your friends or anybody that you think might need this video and um, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below as well to join the family it is free thank you guys so much once again for coming to watch my videos i appreciate you guys so much take care of yourself and i'll see you guys in my next video bye